Rhett Riger, White Caspian Studios, on behalf of Expert Village. The independent directed film, as a director. As a director, there's so many things you need to cover and you need to be aware of. As I've gone over them in detail, but just to do a, pre, a brief summary, you have got to be prepared for the challenges you will face as a director. There's a lot of glamour and glitz that goes with movies, but unbeknownst to most people, movies are so difficult. They're harder than most jobs because of the hours, because of the stress, and because of, of all that's required of the people involved. But more than anybody, the director has the toughest job. Oftentimes the director gets most of the glory too, so it's a give and take. But in pre-production, this is your planning for your shoot. So important that you organize, that you plan, that you work with the crew, you work with the cast. If you can hand pick them, great. So much the better. You gotta remember that you are the designer of the story. You are trying to pull out of that story what the author's intent was when he wrote the script or she wrote the script. And then the logistics of the film. You've got to be aware of what's happening, the mechanics of the production. You, I would highly recommend you go to storyboards, you go to shot lists, because those are going to become uh, great benefits to your movie in terms of saving money. You're going to be very involved in the casting. You've got to know who's going to be in your film, so you need to know who those characters are. And of course you've got to know your locations because that's what people are going to see in your movie. They're going to see the place where you film. When you're on the set shooting, you're going to be working with actors and you've got to learn to respect them, but you've got to learn to direct them. When you're working with the crew, in the same way, you've got to learn to respect them, but you've also got to learn to, to direct them. So there's got to be a fine balance between telling them what to do and letting them have some creative freedom. You've got to learn to deal with problems such as property owners and neighbors and just uh, people who are going to try to shut down your set for whatever reason they think they can. And then you've got to remember when you're shooting your movie, it is up to you as a director to make absolutely certain there is continuity in your scenes and there is coverage of everything you could possibly need. And finally, you're going to have to work with the editor so that you get the edit that you're looking for. There's so many variables, so many possibilities that you can get in an edit. So you got to make sure that you have directed the edit and you'll get the film that you set out to, to make.